I will be ranting on oral report, an episode from SpongeBob SquarePants. Enjoy. Let me tell you reasons why this report gets a T. Clearly, the episode is a mess in terms of execution in many ways and this episode shows why. This episode tries to take a subject matter in a decent manner, but it is somewhat ruined due to Patrick being an unhelpful tweet, SpongeBob being treated like crap by Patrick, and the episode following a somewhat creepy idea of Sandy giving SpongeBob some type of glasses that can help him prepare for his public speaking speech at boarding school by seeing people in their underwear. The pacing in this episode is really weak. Patrick's behavior is notoriously bad once again. Here is what he does this time. He keeps demanding a speech from SpongeBob guy, making him run on a treadmill, giving him a detention notice, crashing a pair of cymbals, throwing pillows at SpongeBob, constantly going speech, 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 speech. Later in the episode, Patrick threatens to throw a pillow at SpongeBob, or a reportitis. That isn't even a real disease. Granted, this is the joke of the episode, but it's too nonsensical to even bother buying. The remedy for SpongeBob's public speaking issue? Imagine people in their underwear while speaking. As said before, the idea used for that episode is just creepy, but to add a new word to the table, it's also really disgusting. It's rather interesting but not in a good way, to see Ms. Puff and the rest of the students at their boarding school wearing nothing but only their underwear. The title card is misleading, as the background consists of a notebook paper with doodles of the main characters in the series, meaning there was a doodle of Mr. Krabs and Plankton, who don't even appear in the episode. Although Squidward and Sandy appear in the episode, they only get one amount of screen time. Ms. Puff goes to jail in the end yet again for no reason. In the older episodes, she was arrested for good reasons, but here she gets arrested without a reason why, even though SpongeBob just committed Grand Theft Auto. Stealing SpongeBob's boat in no free rides. Taking responsibility for SpongeBob's police brutality-like behavior in Ball Monitor. Plot hole, if SpongeBob passed the oral report, he would do something to cause him to fail the boating test. That's all I have to say. Bye for now.